You know what? You know what's really amazing? President Obama, four years ago, when he was running for president, said, if you have no fresh ideas, use stale tactics to scare voters. If you don't have a record to run on, paint your opponent as someone people should run from. Make a big election about small things. That's what he said when he ran for president four years ago. That's exactly what he has become now that he is president and he has no record to run on. We know that he has not been willing to lay out a second term agenda, but if he's reelected, we know exactly what the next four years will look like. We'll have more of the same failed policies, more taxes, more spending, more debt, and four more years of these disastrous energy policies. Look, gas prices are more than double what they were four years ago. Who knows what they're going to be if he got four more years? He'll dust off his national energy tax, which is designed to raise the price and tax on all of our energy. He'll keep making it harder for us to drill for oil and gas on federal lands, or making it harder for us to get our offshore energy in places like Virginia where we want it, where we need it, where we can get it, where we can put people back to work and lower our energy prices. He'll keep his war on coal going. Over a hundred coal plants are scheduled to close, costing us thousands of jobs. Just a month ago, we lost 1,200 coal jobs in states like Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Virginia. Not only are these policies wrong, not only do these policies cost us jobs, not only do they mean that American energy dollars go to the Middle East, they are keeping us from having a boon. They are keeping us from having jobs. They are keeping us from making our paychecks stretch farther. By saying no to the Keystone Pipeline, he's sending that oil to Canada and making us buy more from the Middle East. You know what? The good news is none of that's going to happen because we're going to win this election and we're going to turn back on American energy.